But I don't want no love I just wanna make the moolah love Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your lanky, your goofy, your sexy, and your what? Your semi bougie coffee and penny seven. And I'm back here coming your way with another video. Today's video is me showing you a PR package I received from Beauty 101 Skincare. Also, like a, a mini story time. Let's just get straight into today's video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't just watch the video, make sure you subscribe and you're part of this family. So, I received a PR package from Beauty 101 Skincare. Here is it. I've I'm not even going to lie. I've opened it. I've used some of the products. This is how it came in life, right? I had an encounter with Beauty 101 Skincare at Glitz last year. Skincare is really like my priority. So I needed like a soap that would make my skin look really good. And she was one of the vendors at Glitz, right? So um, myself and Princess, you all know Princess. Princess is now popular on this channel. So myself and Princess, we approached her and she like run us through like her products and how it works and i got one then she gave me another princess was like oh this is my friend he's an influencer and she gave me like an extra soap so, and their products are amazing so i start breaking out and i start using their products ah within like a second my skin is just back to normal beauty 101 skincare is a ghanaian ghanaian based brand is owned by a woman it supports black owned business and also this is October so let's also support women as well right so the first thing in this package that I really love is okay there was this mini card that says that thank you for supporting beauty 101 we are proudly woman owned and made in Ghana get in touch on info at beauty 101 ghana.com the Facebook the Instagram and the call details are also on it so I'll leave everything down in the description first of all I got this face towel which i feel like is very lovely it's very soft too it's not like the ordinary towel this is like very comfy extra comfy yeah. that's their logo on there after applying the products you just use it to wipe your face and you're good to go these two soaps right so this one is ansuma raw shea butter soap with coffee and milk it's for exfoliating this is candy coconut oil soap with aloe vera it's a thirsty skin formula and i've started using this it's really really good like if you want an even skin this this is what you need um it's very easy and simple to use you just take your soap you pour a bit of water on it you lather it then you apply it on your face five minutes time you wash it off make it a, a routine right i'm supposed to do it in the morning and in the evening but the thing is when i come back from work i'm tired so i just do it in the morning then that's it you guys should get them and make your skin glow christmas is coming december is coming i know things are hard and all of that the economy is not economy but these soaps are really good they are affordable too so make sure you dm them on instagram to get yours yeah and yeah this is a bath and shower gel right it's called ladi ladi is an african black soap shower gel it relieves dry itchy skin it clears acne, spots, and bumps, ideal for all skin types. This is what I use for bathing. It's really like one of the best products on the market. This, I made an Instagram reel for it. You guys can check my Instagram. You can use it as a, as a shampoo for your hair. You can use it as a facial cleanser. So this is my favorite. This, this is the Raw Shea Butter Body Lotion, right? It smells so good. Like, the smell, it will take you to heaven and bring you back. I've never, like, use shea butter that smells this good like trust me guys it's so organic but it smells so good so good you guys should get this there are people that have this perception that shea butter they burn shea butter they mean penicent you know, but this shea butter you will love it so the last product that i have here which i've not started using apparently yeah is body butter skin food is for all skin types right it's called this it's called skin food lavender that's the name for it it's called lavender i've not yet used it this is how it looks like and one thing i love about her brand is her packaging like her packaging is everything shout outs to you miss Wong. you're really doing a good job i like your packaging like it's, it's it screams quality luxury like top tier that's what it gives yeah this is the lid show it to you guys if you guys will be able to see it ah oh, guys i'm not even exaggerating this smells so good wow so I think this is also shea butter. This is body butter. You guys should make sure that you get this. It's called lavender. Lavender body butter. You will love it. So that's all the products that I received from Beauty 101 Skincare. I'll leave their Instagram, their Facebook, their website, their call line down in the description. And also I think I'll place it on the screen somewhere here. 
so that you guys will check them out and make a purchase right so the main agenda for today's video is a story time right what time was it was it around april may i've forgotten but it was somewhere around that time so i really took my influencing career serious this year and i watched a video of rakis and ahmad and Ahmad was saying that he wrote down a number of designers that he wanted to work with zara yeah and some weeks time or some days time zara like reached out to them that want to work with them right and it happened manifesting so let me also like jot down the brands that i want to work with so i jotted it down then i slept i woke up the next morning then somebody had messaged me hi kofi how are you doing um i've seen your post they're really doing so amazing we like to send you some pr package so that i create content with it for us we are in was it in canada we talked he, like we got to know each other right and on his profile it was a man with his son so like he was the brand owner but like they have the brand page do you get it he was chatting me on his like personal page then he told me to follow his brand page right so i went to check his brand page and we're discussing like how he wants the pr to be done and one thing was the post offer was really good he was going to send a package down to ghana apparently give me two thousand dollars to also create content with the products it was a clothing brand i use the money to hire a photographer at a location then he gave me a number that that's his personal assistant i should chat with his personal assistant on whatsapp and his personal assistant would like give me the details or whatever that he needs to send down the PR package. And I was like, okay, sure. We want you to send us a video of you like telling us why you want to work with us. As stupid as me are, I just stood by my wall, placed my phone, sent them something. That was like a very stupid move. But I also felt like maybe this is God that is speaking. This is my, me manifesting personal assistant was keeping up with me every now and then he sent me a link to the uh, their website you guys should be very careful on this internet everything seemed like legit the king is fashion like you search for their new drop everything is coming with the price cargo pan graphic t-shirts sneakers he gave me a number of products i'm supposed to choose if you're influenced i know how like these pr packages work some cargo pants i chose some sneakers i chose some other like cool stuff that was good like really going to look dope in like create content on fashion content for you guys and one thing too was one of the red flags that i saw when i was chatting with them the, the main person that dm me on instagram and he told me to follow their page and check their stuff out when i went there he was like it's a new it's a new line it's a new brand but when i went to check the posts were like some days ago or like a week ago there was this explanation that he needed to do concerning like me receiving the package um i think he needed not my details or something then he called me on whatsapp to explain it further to me i've forgotten what he had to call to explain to me this guy's accent was so fine i know they were talking to me from canada so i was expecting like a canadian accent but this accent was given cameroon nigerian you know the red flags kept on coming but i was ignoring all these red flags ah so fast forward was he told me he was going to send the product they were like they're going to send it via fedex then they sent me a receipt the receipts looked so fake from was canada the two was nigeria i was like i messaged him that um i just saw that the receipts but and there's a mistake i'm not in nigeria i'm in ghana it's like oh, okay sure um we just left the fedex office so let me um, go and tell them that there's a mistake that needs to be like rectified so that they will change it to Ghana. So I was expecting to see a revised version of the receipts. So the next morning, he texts me that if I check my email, I should check it. Um, maybe I've received it. And I know that if a, pack, a parcel is coming from Canada to Ghana or Ghana to Canada, it takes days. But this was so fast. Like in 19 or 20 hours, it was telling me that the package has arrived i was like this is weird i went to check it and i received a message from fedex shipping i'll place like the the the, the, the screenshots on the screen so that you guys will see like hello kofi your your parcel is with us why is fedex telling me to make payments to chidera obc a nigerian name like it doesn't make sense right i was like these people so i came back to text the personal assistant that They've messaged me that the staff are in, right? And I sent him a screenshot of the message. I was like, 
Oh, okay. So you sure like it's shipping clearance? Right. I forgot to give you the guys this information. Oh, they told me that the money, the two thousand dollars, right? Going to place it in the PR package. So that when I receive the PR package and I open up, I'll find my pay inside. Because sometimes when they give, when they send people the money before they receive the PR package, they run away and they don't create the contents that they want for them. I said, film, I hear, like, um, I should pay, I should send the money. The money, I forgot how much the money was, 300 or $600. But I know that even if anything, I'm supposed to go to the FedEx office, right? See the package, that wait or something, then you tell me that, okay, you are paying 300 CDs, right? That's how it's supposed to be done. But you don't text me via email and tell me to make payment. But like, um, I should use my money to pay. When you see the package, then I would take the money from the box and like replace it, you get. I was like, okay, sure. In the evening, he came to text me that, have I received my package? I'm like, oh, not yet. I was like, I should start working on it because my co-influencers <laughs> creating content with their Product. Now, stupid as this personal assistant is, he sent me pictures. We need to download the pictures that pictures <clears throat> that I've seen like three years back, four years back, two years back. Why I should like speed up, get my get the package and start creating the content? Cause it's more like a competition. They want to see like who is really doing best, so that they would choose to work with the person in the nearby future. Brother, sister, I was like. Huh? Uh-huh. So this is what people want to do to me. So when he sent that, eh, I was chatting with a friend of mine. I was trying to like find the best solution to handle the whole situation because I now knew that it, this was a scam. The one I think an hour time, I came to send laughing emojis. I was like, you think I'm stupid, eh? So he texted me that, hey, what's up? I've already seen my package. And I'm like, you think I'm stupid, right? I know what you're up to and I know and I'm going to call you out on social media so that evening I posted a video this is what has happened you guys should like be very cautious very mindful of how you reply to messages requests for videos or whatever be cautious of what video you are sending to them this case fashion people almost scammed me but I was very smart with it so I realized that no this is not right because I know how PR packages are supposed to go how an influencer is supposed to receive their package how payment is supposed to be done and all of that but all of these were not given that it was given i need your money you are stupid and give me your money that's what it was given i called them out on social media i unfollowed them i blocked them and you know something some of the the pictures that i saw on the case fashion some weeks time <laughs> instagram is so funny like you talk about something the next morning you wake up you you go on instagram and it's just there in your face Two days after, I came across the main designer of some of the pictures that I saw on the K's fashion page. These are some of them. Like, it was, it was, it was, it was bad. Like, internet is crazy these days. So my advice to you guys is to be very cautious, very mindful of who is texting you so that you don't get scammed because I almost got scammed, right? Guys, I almost got scammed. And I know it's never right for like FedEx to relate with a Nigerian Chidera or no, it's never done like that. Like, if you receive a package, it's either you go to their office, pick it up, make payments, then you come back home. It's becoming an influencer in Ghana is so hard. Like, it's not even easy at all. So you guys should be very cautious of who you are texting, who claims to send you a PR package. Make your necessary search. That's my mini story. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you learned something from it. Upcoming influencers models content creators whatever this story should be like a lesson to all of you i almost got scammed thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and i'll see you in my next video is a peace out and bye yeah,